Hey, Winkin. Hey, kitty. How's the Winkin girl? Yeah, you want to be an internet celebrity? You want to say hi to all the cat flaggers out there? Hey, meow. Say hi to the internet, Winkin. Say hi to the internet. Hello, it's me, your host, Robert Griffith. Um, I've decided to try something a little different today. I've decided to try my hand at uh, something I've seen on the internet called vlogging. Vlogging is short for video blogging because, well, this is the internet and nobody can pronounce a word with more than three syllables. So I'm going to do my first vlog uh, about my garden because apparently vlogging you just kind of carry the camera so that you get the whole shaky cam effect and uh, you just film yourself doing things. So this is what uh, we've uh, our latest attempt at getting our vegetable garden going didn't work out so well. Um, well some of it's starting to look okay but we had some snails eat some of the pea plants as you can see there. So what's really interesting about this is that it's right next to this garden bed here with the herbs like lavender and rosemary and a pomegranate tree and stuff. Uh, mind you, most of this stuff originally was bought in those little uh, two by two uh, uh, or four by four uh, containers, plant containers from the local gardening shop. These are plants that basically really like the spots <laughs> they were put in. They were like just took completely over. Just I don't even know how to describe it. How would you describe something like that? Just epically amazing and it's right next to epically disastrous so I don't even know. Um, and speaking of epically disastrous Ah, oh, don't look! Don't look at our poor little lettuces! They got eaten by the snails! Stupid snails! Oh man, the poor little things. It, uh, it's, uh, I feel so sorry for them because we were, well, I guess they were going to be eaten anyway, but we were hoping that they'd be eaten by us, not by, you know, an invertebrate that <laughs> carries its skeleton on its back. So. <laughs> Well, what are you going to do? Okay, so I'm going to take you over to see some more of our garden here. We got some roses. These ones we put in when we first moved here. They actually have been doing really well. We, uh, when we first moved here, this whole thing was just kind of kind of empty and we just uh, the only plant there was that uh, succulent at the end. And uh, we just planted all these roses and they've just taken to town. Also taken to town are these bay trees that were originally like two feet tall. And we planted them and now they're, look at that. Look at that. That is way too close to the power lines. Um, Dad, if you're watching this, you, uh, you, me, uh, ladder, power tools, weekend, sound like a plan? <laughs> Kinda needs it. Uh, but yeah, we got some nasturtium that kind of came. They've taken over. They're eating the wheelbarrow, the rusted out old wheelbarrow that we hardly ever use anymore because its tires flat and it's got holes in it. So yeah, you can eat that up, nasturtium. In our backyard here, we've got lots more success stories. Look at those trees that we planted, and this giant rose, oh my gosh, you wouldn't believe how big that rose got. That is just epictacular, epic win for roses. <laughs> that rose really liked its spots, more herbs would like their spots. One spot that just hasn't been able to successfully grow anything. We tried pumpkins, we tried all kinds of things, it's, it, it didn't work. I don't know what it is about that spot, maybe somebody sprayed weed killer a lot over there or something. Um, let's see, this rose, this rose is a survivor. We tried to pull it out originally because it was all covered in diseases and stuff. But not only did it resist our attempts to kill it, but it actually came back and thrived and it's perfectly healthy. It's amazing. 
I respect this rose. It is the survivor rose. It's the, um, it's the Les Stroud of roses. Or the Bear, Bear Grylls? I don't know. I'm, uh, I kind of, I can't think of any really big survivors right now, so that's, uh, that's the best I can come up with off, off the fly. Uh, and here's these little uh, buggers. These were flower beds that we built ourselves. We built these. There was supposed to be a raised flower bed with just a few flowers and there was going to be an arch all the way over here. And we had this little like metal arch, but then these things, these roses, decided to basically destroy it to the point where we had to take it down because it was going to otherwise collapse in on itself. <laughs> it was a job getting that out. But now we can we have this like little thing that's completely impassable unless you're a cat. Which it's a good thing that our cats have that that uh, they can use to get in and out of our yard, but still not so great for us if we ha if we have to get in this side yard for any reason. We have to go all the way around to the other side of the house. So, yeah. They've got uh Got some fertilizer here that's just waiting to be used. We'll see what we end up doing with that. Um, but yeah, we've had this we've had this garden for for years now. We said we moved here. We moved here. Oh, I want to say in 2002. Not sure that's right. And we uh, yeah, it was but it was a lo it, it was I think it was 2002. Uh, but we ended up, oops, sorry for blocking your view there, I'm trying to get the, um, the way my camera works is I have this one little screen that can show me, you know, what's, this, uh, what's, what, what the camera's picking up and kind of to get to it I had to block. Anyway, but we've lived in this house a long time. Oh, another neat little story. This plant, the, uh, it was supposed to be a tree, like a like a peach tree or something. I think that's what it was, or maybe a plum tree. Uh, anyway, the tree died, but the roots, uh, since a lot of times what they do is they'll, they'll graft one kind of plant onto the roots of another kind of plant, and the roots, whatever kind of plant that is, has taken off and decided, you know what, I'm just going to live and enjoy myself. And man, does this have the prettiest flowers or what? I like that, that's pretty. Okay, anyway, but yeah, we moved here, and we had, like, okay, just to give you an example. This uh, side yard over here, on this side of the house, this was like, just comp dirt and grass. That's it, it was dirt and grass. We put in this, this uh, pathway, that took a lot of effort, we were... Uh, let's see, we, we had to rototill the darn thing, and now it's been years since that happened, and now it's looking great. We put in all these plants, all these beautiful roses and rosemaries and Santa Barbara daisies and nasturtium and other things. There's my blackberry plant that we put underneath my window. Are there any blackberries on there? Let's see some that are still kind of developing. Yeah, when we f the first time that we fruited, it was way, way too bitter. Oh, is it the Winkin? The sweetie kitty coming to say hi to my vlog? Say hi to the internet again? Is that it? Meow, meow, meow. Yeah, she's investigating. No, she's tatting on the wood, the wood barrier that we originally put in to hold the rocks in place, but now it's kind of fallen over. Gee, I wonder why. Maybe you pulled it over. <laughs> Another giant bay tree, I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not the plant expert in our resident plant expert in our house. That would be my mom, who's uh, Coastal Cooking Online also chronicles our garden sometimes. Uh, feel free to check it out. Uh, link in the description. Meow! Meow! <laughs> yeah, sweetie! So... Yeah, so that's that's our garden, and uh, I'm uh, hope to, 
Let's see. Hope you hope I had to do the thing with the screen again. Hope you enjoyed taking this little tour and learning about kind of how gardening can really be a hit or miss thing. Sometimes you win, sometimes you just kind of don't win. It's always hard to tell. You just got to keep trying. It takes a lot of hard work, I tell you what. Like I said, with this path where we had to kind of till it, you got to dig it out from nothing. Um, you know, it takes a lot of hard work, but the end result ends up being so beautiful that, you know, might as well. Why was I doing this for so long? I know it looks kind of better in the screen, but for you guys, it'll look like I'm kind of standing on the wall. Hey, I'm standing on the wall! Okay. <laughs> anyway. So, uh... I don't know how often I'll be posting vlogs or not. Uh, just kind of doing this as a little test to see kind of how it works, things work out. Uh, but I will be posting new uh, awesome people in history and uh, probably a Politics is Strange too uh, in the coming uh, few, uh, next few weeks. Um, and also follow up on news. Speaking of which, if you hadn't seen, I had updated my story on CISPO. It passed the house uh, this week, early, I want to say Thursday? Not sure that's right. But it passed the house and now it's up, up to the Senate. And uh, let's see, and the, uh, oh, the Avengers, that's the other thing. The Avengers is going to be coming out this week. And as you, I've mentioned a billion times already, I'm really looking forward to seeing this thing. Uh, and so I hope to have a movie review up as soon as I have seen it, and I'll let you know what I thought. And, well, I think that's it, Cat Flaggers. Uh, have a great day, and, uh, see you next vlog.